This video will introduce isotopes. Let's begin with a recap of what an atom looks like. In the nucleus of an atom, you have protons with positive charges and possibly also neutrons, which have no charge at all, they are neutral. And around the outside of the atom orbiting the nucleus, we have electrons, which have negative charge. When we look at a periodic table, we'll often see atoms written like this. So this would be a carbon atom, and it would have two numbers next to it. For example, 12 and 6. The lower number here is the proton number. It tells us how many protons are in the nucleus of this particular atom, and the upper number here is the mass number, which tells us the total number of protons plus neutrons in the nucleus. What's really important to remember about any atom is that the number of protons is what makes an element that element. So if I change this number, if this number became 7 or 5, the atom would no longer be carbon, it would become a different element. If it was 7, it would become nitrogen. If it was 5, boron. However, the number of neutrons can vary. So for example, it's perfectly possible to see carbon written like this. 13 as the mass number and 6 as the proton number. The proton number must be 6, otherwise it wouldn't be carbon. Or even like this, 14 the mass number, and 6 is the proton number. These are three different isotopes of carbon. They all exist naturally, although carbon-12 is by far the most common. What it means is that while carbon-12 must have 6 protons and 6 neutrons, carbon-13, which has 6 protons, must have 7 neutrons to make up the mass number, and carbon-14 must have 8 neutrons in order to make up a mass number of 14. So these are three different isotopes. So we can define then isotopes as variants of an element that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. There are a couple of isotopes with special names which are worth learning. They are all isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen always has one proton and usually has no neutrons. So it has a symbol 1, 1. One proton, no neutrons. However, hydrogen can also come as a form in which it has one proton and one neutron, giving it a mass of 2. This form of hydrogen is commonly known, known as deuterium. And the third isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen 3, you might have guessed, has one proton and two neutrons, giving it a mass of three and is more commonly called tritrium.